Hi and welcome to my crib. <laughs> Come on inside. Welcome to our empty house tour. I'm so excited to be finally filming this. Just before we actually show you around, just one thing to note, this is a period property. It was built 1897, was it? 75. No, eight, no, it wasn't, it was 1890 something. Right in between Edwardian Victorian. So there's a lot to do. Long term, we're thinking maybe extension, renovations are gonna start as soon as possible. So the porch area that Tom is currently in, then let's step up into the hallway. And we can just close this door behind us and just give you a quick look of what the front door is like. So this is our hallway. I can feel the radiator Tom's just put on. So nice and tall ceilings, which is a such a big thing for me especially. Well, I suppose both of us, but I love townhouse style, tall, coving, love it. Anyway, let's move into the first room, which they had currently as the kind of living space dining space into the kitchen area. That's a smooth Should transition. Put some, to uh, put some uh, lights on in there. I know, I will do. So this is how they currently have the kitchen, or they had the kitchen. Obviously long-term plans, we might move the kitchen all together at the back and have by four doors into the garden. So let me just put on the light. A huge kitchen compared to what we're used to. Even if initially we would just change cosmetically, this kitchen is far bigger than what we're used to. So loads more cover space, we can have a pantry, but they have microwave, which I think we will bring ours so we can replace that. Fridge, freezer, double oven, sink, hob. And then they do have a washing machine up here, which they've left for us, but there is also a washing and dryer downstairs in the basement, which we'll probably keep got two washing machines and a dryer and then this is the pantry which I mean if the kitchen cupboard space wasn't already enough we have this and we have the back door which leads out it's open oh, oh god yeah that works don't you hold on a second leads out to our little like garden area around there and just down there I don't know what Tom's showing is the stairs down into the basement. So what I love about that is that you can access the basement, the cellar from outside. So obviously, dog wash utility room down there, you know, for after them long countryside walks, we'll have a whole station down there. But I'll show you down there at the end. Let's move through now into the hallway. And then this was a separate extension, which was done at least more than 50 years ago. Cause when they moved in the previous owners 50 years ago, this was already here. So this will come down one day and potentially a full side extension back. We don't know yet, but initially it, it's fine. It's got a little wooden balcony type thing and steps down into the garden through there. If you spot furniture and bits, they had furniture that they didn't want to take. We said, leave it, we'll note things, and then we'll get house clearance in next week to come and take everything that we don't want, um, which they're arranging. So there is furniture, so it's an empty house tour. And then moving through into the rest of the corridor downstairs, we have a, a door into the cellar, which I'll show you at the end of the video. This door here leads into the little downstairs toilet that we've got, is what it is. And then we'll move through here to what they have as the second sitting room. So this is probably a room that we'll live in quite a lot. So I love this marble fireplace. I'm thinking white marble fireplace, black walls. Pretty bold for me, but I like that idea. Lydia Elise Mill and Home, that kind of style. And then the bay window looks out onto the garden. So this is the sort of second living room. Yeah, might even be kitchen area in the long-term plans. So moving on upstairs. Okay, so coming up to the first floor, we have the main bathroom, which is the only bathroom in the whole house. So plans are to probably either extend and make this bigger or add an ensuite in another room. I'm not sure yet, maybe both. We will see. This will be potentially my beauty room, wardrobe, office room, maybe because there is another floor upstairs which we're thinking Tom might have as his office wardrobe 
potentially ensuite bathroom up there as well. So even just to have an office space for me was a major thing that I really, really wanted. So this could be the future office filming room. And it's a nice, you know, view onto the garden as well. You can always tap, tap to tap, 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 tap. tap, tap. tap. Waste on thinner. Waste on thinner. Where the lights? Cameraman. It's the bulb gone. Ah. Right. Well, we can all that. Moving into our bedroom now, this is filled with furniture, which will be going obviously, but plenty of space. And look at the tall ceilings. All of this furniture, I know it's an empty house tour. I ideally wanted it empty, but I couldn't wait to share with you. So ignore all the furniture that's currently in here. This will be going. I don't think there's anything that we're keeping in here. Moving now through to another bedroom. This is quite a dark, this is why I said this is a dark room. It's not well lit in here. This is yet another bedroom, which I think could have the possibility of making this a smaller bedroom and bringing this wall back so that the master bedroom has an ensuite. So this is just another bedroom that we can have as a bit of a walk-in wardrobe, spare room for guests. And then moving on up to the top floor. Moving on. Please, up. like Tom wants to keep this carpet. I do not. <laughs> moving on up to the top floor, we've got some shelving space. This I can walk past, it's a little bit short for Tom. Which is probably why this should probably be your office, not mine. No, I don't want to have it up here. I want you to have your own floor so I can just lock all your mess away and not even see it. <laughs> so slightly ominous. Yeah, we don't we don't um like them. <laughs> they might be going. Um is there a light in this room? I don't know if there is. There is a light bulb, I don't know where to Is it behind the door? Yeah it is. Okay, so this is attic room number one of two, so this is bedroom four out of five. And for an attic room, you can see how much space there is. There's plenty of space. I mean, granted here, this is more better suited to storage. There's a little hatch up into the loft as well. And then moving on into the attic room number two, this is obviously kids, grandkids room, and a nice outlook onto the front road, but this, again, plenty of headroom space for us to work with as an office slash ensuite spare room up here. Now time to head down to the basement. Do I think we've done everything else. So back at the front door now on the ground level. So I'm going to share, share with you, show you the cellar, the basement. So there's two access points either here or from outside. We're gonna go down this one from inside the house. So you come down the staircase and you come into this first room, which is the one that has access from outside. So this is where they have their spare fridge freezer and a freezer and the dryer and the washer. So they actually used it down here anyway. They had all like dog station down here, like spare dog food, Christmas decorations and everything like that in here as well. There is a toilet. <laughs> that probably will be going. So I'll show you outside in a second, but I just want to first show you the other chamber rooms, is what we call them. This is the first little storage room, and I think they had their cleaning supplies in here. Moving into their little workshop station that they had going on in here. I quite like this workbench. I think we should maybe keep it and restore it. What do you think? We'll see. Then moving through down to the other end of the cellar, there is this room. Woo! So this is the other, I think this is classed as the chamber room three. There's a window out to the um, garden. And then there's also, if you come around, this little storage room in here. So plenty of space to... Wine cellar. Is that, oh God, yeah, that could be cool. Yeah. Nice little wine cellar. But we know that the neighbors have a cinema room. We're thinking that um, that could be a long-term plan. I'd love to have a dog wash station and really nice utility room in the other room and then maybe like a cinema room. Who knows? Let's head outside to see what's outside. Oh, it is raining, so let's be quick. Be quick. <laughs> Just quickly go into that bit there. So they have this like outhouse, which is quite nice really to, to have this space outdoors it is raining today let me show you the actual garden here's tom the man behind the camera 
So that is obviously the back of the house and then we lead on to the actual garden. You can see how big the garden is. Yeah. Another storage room in here, like ga garage That's area. Yeah, so we've got loads of space to work with, maybe for like a future outdoor garden pergola, outdoor yeah, kitchen. Yeah. So yeah, this is our empty house tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I am really excited to look back on this footage as well so that we can see the progress that we make, see where we've come, and I hope you're all excited to join us along this journey. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Sorry, I was cutting you out there. And we hope to see you very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.